got into this music. The trustees of the Rhythm and Blues Foundation are honored to present the 1996 Pioneer Award to Johnny Guitar Watson. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. people they 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 started to call me that that they started that and and I um, I'm, I feel very good about it and I kind of sometimes sometimes I feel like the godfather funk because I've been funking so long you know what I'm saying <laughs> I used to listen a lot to um, Gate Mark Brown and, and T-Bone Walker and and uh, they actually they were my favorites to be honest with you. T-Bone Walker was my one of my, just the greatest influence of all. I used to just love the way he performed. I liked the way he looked on stage, and his manner was always just absolutely uh, amazing. He, he was just a, a, a an amazing blues artist. He was everything I thought a, a blues artist should be. I didn't even know whether it was a blues artist or what he was at that time because I was just a kid, but to me he was, I was a groupie for T-Bone Walker, if you know what I mean. I was playing keyboards in the, in the early days and I inherited a guitar from my grandfather who was a spiritualist minister. And when I inherited his guitar, my grandmother told me, don't play any blues on the guitar and you know, everything will be all right, you know, and yeah, I'll give it to you, but don't, you know, so. First thing I did was learn to play some blues. <laughs> I just don't know how to even say what he was, other than a wonderful, very extremely talented person who knew all about all the music. And uh, as he, he was as contemporary as he was traditional, and, and he was just a marvelous, marvelous musician and, and composer and writer. And, uh, and he loved my music, and uh, he said I was one of his inspirations, and and uh, when I first met him, he played one of my solos, a thing from Three Hours Past Midnight, which was an old blues. I'm really impressed by a person that is self-contained, that can just write their own music and produce their own music. And it's, it's quite an amazing uh, thing to be able to do it all, you know. So, and Sam was that way, Ray was that way. Ray is just, it was just a tremendous musician. And I've always kind of been drawn to contemporary things and, and Ray, was a multi-talented musician. He played saxophone and keyboards and sing and write and and you know he liked jazz and I like jazz as well. You know, I mean, I like uh, a guy like Oscar Peterson and, and people like this. You know, which um, a lot of people would be shocked to know. Say, Jesus, you like Oscar Peterson? What are you talking about? You know, I mean, how could you like Oscar Peterson? And uh, I used to. Well, even today, I, I'm still learning some of his solos verbatim. I just like to sit down, put the, put the record on, and just learn the solos, you know, which is very difficult, very difficult. I have been nominated for a few grants. But check this out. The R&B Award is a real deal. <laughs> Yeah. 
there are all kinds of blueses. There are some happy blueses, there are some sad blueses. But it, it is definitely an emotional outlet because that's where it sprang from. It sprang from problems and from hard times and things of this sort. It's what caused the music to come about in the first place. Um, in the, you know, in the, during the days when black people were, were really having hard times, this kind of music just was uh, a, a, an outlet. Yeah, the Superman, no. 